We have been so, so happy to have KJ Wright in studio the past few days. One of the legends from the Seattle Legion of Boom era. And he keeps on mentioning these names and all the Seattle players. And constantly, Sarah, Jason, and I are like, gosh, there was a lot of good players on mm -hmm. that defense. And gosh, there were a lot of personalities on that <laughs> defense. So we put KJ to the task yesterday. We had him break down his top three moments from that era. But today we're gonna focus on the individual players on the field. KJ, we wanna break down your top five mm -hmm. defenders from the Legion of Boom era from five to one. List your friends, not a good thing listen, to do. Listen. And yet here we are. Listen, first and foremost, guys, I love you guys. I respect you guys. Do not be mad at me, but we gotta rank you guys number five to number one. And coming in at number five, we got Mr. Belly Roll himself. Brandon Meebane at number five. Brandon Meebane! Right here was a monster, a monster. And he was so intellectual as well. Before the play, he would point, ball's going here, ball's going there. He would let us know what was coming. Just TFLs left and right. And this guy personally means a lot to me because he took me under his wing. He taught me how to play football. He taught me how to watch film. Brandon Meebane is a guy that's forgotten about. But in my eyes, he is Top one of five. the best. One of the best. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Look at that dance. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best to do it. Brandon Meebane at number five. That's I love that. Let's That's go. Four. Now, number four. Okay, this is where it starts getting a little controversial. Coming to number four, we got the best cornerback of this generation, Richard Sherman. Four. At four. number four. four. I don't have a I thought four. he'd be one. I, no, no, Sherman's number four. Listen, <laughs> this is my guy. But a fade ball to his side is an interception every single time. This man ended up with 37 career picks. The man oh, talked to his smack. If you threw the ball his way, nothing good was going to happen. Sherman got so good at one point, he was like, Ken, don't even buzz to my side. I'm like, Sherman, I'm the buzz defender. I got to drop to you. He's like, go do something else. I don't need you to look at my side. He took away one third of the football field. And at one point, eight interceptions, eight interceptions. T uh, PBUs, Richard Sherman at number four. Number three. Number three. Give me Earl Thomas at number three. This man, walkthroughs was like game days. He, to say he loved football is an understatement. Earl Thomas was just glued to film. This man lived, breathed, and just loved football and one of the best tackling safeties that I have ever seen. If it's in the open field, he's bringing you down. If it's a fade ball, he's running sideline to sideline, red line to red line, getting those picks. And my favorite play of Earl Thomas is right here. So laser focused. Ooh. Got the fumble out right before Cunningham get to, the, get to the end zone. This guy was just so focused. He was so smart. And I'm telling you, the way he practiced was like game day. Benny Cunningham highlights on a yes. Friday morning. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to number right. two. Number two. Give me Bobby Wagner. This man two? is the best. Who's one? Who you think? Two, no, 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 no. Two, Bobby two. Wagner, one of the best <laughs> of this generation, just over. 1,500 tackles, 30 sacks. Offensive of linemen cannot block him. His IQ is like none of the, is one of the best I've ever seen. Bobby Wagner is the best linebacker of this generation. Got picks, got you know, TFLs that left and insane. right, 30 sacks. You try to run his way, nothing good is happening. So I'm so glad he's back. It'll definitely help out this Seahawks defense. Can I tell you what I used to love? When Bobby Wagner used to jump over defensive lines and block field, field goals. Field goal blocks. Unbelievable <laughs> yeah. athlete. Uh, with great fanfare, We've already done Sherman, mm -hmm. we've already done Wagner, we've already done Brandon Meebane and Earl Thomas. Who is the number one player in the Legion of Boom era on that defense? There can only be one enforcer. Give me Cam Chancellor at number one. Mm. Cam Chancellor is the big dog, he's the enforcer. And like oh. I said last <laughs> week, this man kept everyone together. He was the glue to the defense. I know everyone sees his big hits, I know everyone sees him striking dudes, but his leadership was something that really stood out to me. Cam gave the pregame speeches, knocking dudes out left and right. <laughs> and he him. brought that energy to our football team. And so one of my favorite teammates ever, the guy's a freaking legend. His career also ended way too soon. And if we're talking about Cam Chancellor, he's, he's the big dog. He's the enforcer. He's my number one Legion of Boom member. Woo! All right, so I look at Legion of Boom, and we're talking about the entire era. Legion of Boom might have been a defensive, but this is the whole thing. This is controversial on many levels, and yet 
You were there. You were in the trenches. Right. This who is would, how you see it. And it who, could have been any order. Who would you pick? Well, I that think, I mean, I don't see Michael Bennett on this list. He might have made this list. I don't see Cliff Averill Cliff on this list. Cliff's going to be mad I don't, see, know. I don't see KJ Wright on this list. I can do that to myself. And, and I might have also, uh, look. There's, there's so many. It's hard. Hall of Famer Bobby Wagner. Yes. Hall of Famer Richard Sherman. Yes. I don't know if Cam Chancellor or Earl Thomas get that same discussion. Really? I don't know. I, I was in the building. The, what they Talk, Make what the they, case for them. What they meant to our football team, I'm telling you, with all these personalities, all these egos, who's going to be the one to reel guys back? It was, this, it was this dude. He kept everyone together. He kept everyone on the same page. When you look at Earl Thomas, he's a guy that in the middle of the field, KJ, watch this. Bobby, watch this. Oh, here it come, here it come. Like, these dudes were legends. And so I love these guys. Don't be mad at me. All you guys are phenomenal players. Hey, top five, here we go. Jason, you were in the trenches. You were across from these guys on the field. What's your reaction to that? All legends, as you said. All right, I'm focusing on the secondary because the secondary was legion to me, of the Legion of Boom. I want to know, KJ, what do you think these guys are going to think? You just said personalities, egos. Richard Sherman is last amongst the DBs. Earl is behind Cam. If those guys had to rank themselves, do you think they would see it the same? Absolutely not. <laughs> and the, I'm telling you, who's gonna, the one that's going to be bad at me right here, he's, he, Bobby's, Bobby's, he's not going to like this. He's, he's like, not going to like one. this. Sherman's going to laugh about it. Cam wouldn't care where he was at. He's, he's chill. Not that, he's, he's not tripping. Me Bane, I know this means a lot to Me Bane because he was kind of the unsung hero. Yeah. He's the guy that never made a Pro Bowl, mm. but up front, he controlled the line of scrimmage. And so these guys, I'm a person that's going to probably be upset. What about like, Earl? Earl going to be all right? Earl will be cool. Earl will be cool. Who's the, who was the biggest struggle to leave off? Who was, who was number six that you felt really bad about? Michael Bennett. Okay. Mike, Mike B was a monster up front. But just making TFLs left and right. Like I said, his IQ was one of the best I've ever seen. But I couldn't put him in front of me, Bane. This is my guy. This is just this is Personal, my guy, Brandon me, Bane. Um, yeah, he means a lot to me. Just off the top of my head, there are some other guys. Like Frank Clark was on this defense. Bruce Irvin. Irvin was a big part of this defense. Byron, Byron Maxwell. Maxwell. Uh, Lane, right, number 20? Jay Lane. Jay Lane. Yeah, that's, I like Jay Lane. But. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jay Lane, but nah. I was that was a loaded defense. And don't for a second think that this guy wouldn't be on a lot of these players' list. K.J. Wright, third all-time in Seahawks franchise history in tackles and one of the most consistent players of your time. Dude, thank you for making this list. Yeah. not easy to rank your friends. Yes, this, this was yeah, hard to do. Yeah, go ahead, rank your friends. Make them all mad. We need to so at all of them on Twitter. At all of them. Everybody from that era.